Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing super well. My name is Cynthia and if you are new here, we're all about fashion, beauty and vlogs, lifestyle vlogs. So if you're going to stick around, you're more than welcome to hit the subscribe button and switch on the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video. You can never get through an intro in one take, so we're gonna leave that there. So in today's video, I wanted to chat to you guys a little bit about luxury. How to build your wardrobe or upgrade your current wardrobe to accommodate luxury pieces. If you are interested in buying into a brand, how do you go about doing it without spending so much on your first purchase? Adding things to your cupboard that I think are investment pieces. You get the cost per wear, but they don't break the bank. Let's say you do have that extra 15,000 or even 10,000. It's not enough to buy a bag, but it is probably enough for a wallet or a scarf or a SLG, you know? So I'm gonna give you tips and tricks on how to do that, which I guess gives you this like rich auntie aesthetic without even really trying if that is something you aspire to. <laughs> I don't know if I like the terminology altogether, but basically that is what's trending on social. But this isn't about that. This is more about investing in these key pieces in your wardrobe that will last a lifetime actually, that are classic and still carry that um, timelessness to them and they're just worth the money. And that being said, they are not there to break the bank. So let's get started. Let me start off with sunglasses. Fashion wise, this is what is the first thing people see probably when they greet you is you're wearing these wearing sunglasses. They give you attitude. I have sunglasses for my mood and for my outfits. <laughs> it's not to be an underestimated part of your wardrobe. I think it actually plays an important role in one's personal style and basically the attitude you carry, I think, for the day. So one of my most recent purchases are these pair of Versace glasses from Sunglass Hut. And why I think this is great to include in this video is because these are very affordable. They really fall in the affordability spectrum. I think these aren't more than two and a half thousand rand and you know sunglass hut always has a special going on so if you're walking on the right day you might snag a good deal so it already bumps the wardrobe up a little bit you know with a little bit of luck for Versace for Versace it's in a cool trendy shape as well it's not in the oversized bulky sunglass shape that I think we've had for decades. It is in this cool semi cat eye, semi I don't know what's going on here. It's not that circle with the Versace Medusa there, which I really like. I'm not a fan of that logo. I've never really been a Versace fan to begin with, but when I saw this different twist to these glasses, I hopped on, hopped on them and I really like them. So, um, so this is where I think it's a good place to start. Um, is your sunglasses. We're next gonna get on to fragrance and I think fragrance is another great way to get into upgrading your wardrobe and when I say fragrance I'm not even talking about a Chanel I'm not even talking about a Dior I'm talking about a fragrance that is not common a fragrance that is super unique that um, is not worn by a lot of people because if you have a Chanel quite a number of people wear Chanel number no. 5, Mademoiselle, Chance, quite a few people wear Miss Dior, Some, quite a few people wear Chador. So it's not really about or getting the most expensive, it's about getting the most unique and um, just different. And one brand that I really look to do this is Jo Malone. You can start building a fragrance collection with 30 mils, 50 mils, I wonder if Jo Malone has a 30 mil option, but I think they do have 50 mils. This is how you can actually just have those unique scents for a little bit less. These are 30 mil fragrances and I think they sell most of their colognes in a 30 mil. But just going for something that is unique but different that not everyone has. They have so many colognes. That you can choose from that it is more rare that you will find someone with exactly the same one as opposed to every second person rocking a Marc Jacobs fragrance when it comes to scents think more out the box don't rush to the dual counter or the Chanel counter thinking this is the way for me to smell expensive it's probably not <laughs> it's more got to do with how exclusive a fragrance is how rare it is on somebody else 
but it's still being something that speaks to you that you really really love the next thing i want to talk about is small leather goods or slgs the first thing that i think is the most iconic piece that i think is in everyone's wardrobe whether you are five birkins into your collection or you are just starting out i think is the toiletry pouch by louis vuitton this is the sorry guys my eyes are watering and it feels like my eyelash is coming loose i hope it's not but if it is please just look past it this is the toiletry pouch by louis vuitton it is in the larger size there are two sizes this is the 26 and i think this is just the ultimate piece in in anyone's wardrobe i think this will just elevate your look by ten thousand percent if you are wearing a plain white tee, a pair of jeans, I really love the price point of this. It's about five and a half thousand when I bought it, which maybe was a year, no, maybe two years ago, maybe 20, yeah, 2019 for sure is when I got this. This is, I think, a super duper, duper iconic piece worth the investment and you really get your cost per wear with this. And I think for me, this surpasses a pair of glasses actually. Um, because you can find glasses that are worth the same price as this, but I'm pretty sure you will feel more solid in this decision as opposed to a pair of Celine shades, which are four, which are four and a half grand. There's so many luxury YouTubers that are over this, like they don't wear this anymore. They say it's cancelled, like we're tired of seeing this. I beg to differ. I think for me, a classic is a classic. If you have it, if you want to get it, get it it can be in your wardrobe for decades and you will not tire of it it will not lose its elegance and how it elevates an outfit it will always do that for your looks okay i had to fix my eyelash it is actually falling off another point i want to make in elevating wardrobe is with belts okay this is a very key piece in anyone's wardrobe a belt that was trending for a very long time was the gucci marmont belt um i know this belt is cancelled i know <laughs> it was used and abused and because she has been used and abused we are throwing her away i've hardly worn mine which is upsetting and it's not because of that I just realized my wardrobe doesn't really have a lot of things that require cinching. I have like one dress that requires it, and actually two. But what I like about the Gucci belt, any of them I think, as long as they are like the standard size, like the standard um, width and stuff, I think is that they are priced very competitively as opposed to a Louis Vuitton belt which I think is a bit higher. I think these run for like when i got mine it was like six and a half thousand i think they're more or less around the same price at the time louis vuitton belts were 10 11 grand i think that's why these were just obscenely popular and i also think it's why a lot of brands have definitely increased the prices of their belts because this was one way people were buying into their brands was through the belt and um but i think for me there was something that about the gucci marmont collection from the bags to the belts that was just very like new money <laughs> i think the gucci craze you know really set off logomania and it was just gucci for a good like two years and we were just seeing this belt for like a good two years but what I'm just trying to say is that a belt is a very good way to buy into a brand. If you are so severely put off by this buckle, Gucci has different buckles as well. Um, but um, I just think this is like the prettiest. I don't know. I think it's like the coolest, the most modern. I think it goes with a lot of um, things. I'm not really a fan of their older logos. Um, there's one though that I like which I will put a picture of on the side here which I think is really cool But yeah, if you are into more subtle vibes, this really screams the gooch um, So if you were to wear this piece, I think everything else would severely need to be toned down I'm going off what brands we have in South Africa because it's very tricky to get international brands here But if you were to browse Neda Porte, there's Valentino there's Fendi as well, Aneta Porte, Louis there, Bottega Veneta. There are so many 
many options. I just think a belt is a very, very good way to elevate your wardrobe, take it to the next level and just introduce that hint of luxury should you wish to without it really breaking the bank. So belt is a very good way. The last thing I want to touch on is SLGs, which is small leather goods, not just the toilet pouch, but actual wallets. And I think this is a fantastic way to really elevate your overall look. So I'm mentioning this a lot because a wallet is not really something everyone sees the first time they meet you, but it is that cute surprise when you open your bag and this pops out, if you know what I'm trying to say. The very first one I picked up was this um, Gucci, I told you, or went through a face, Marmont card holder, which has been with me for many years, but I haven't used it in a very long time. It more or less holds my Caltrain cards whenever I'm in Joburg. Um, but what I love is my Louis Vuitton wallet. I think if you want to run away from the Gooch, go with Louis V. These wallets, a compact full-size wallet is about, I got this for seven and a half thousand. So yes, a little bit more on the pricey end. I mean, it's more expensive than this, right? Um, I also picked it up because I was struggling with the coin thing, with just the card holder. I needed to pay some more coins, pay my parking tickets, give the car guards something to work with. It really is a full functioning wallet. It's got space for your notes, it has space for your coins, and all of your cards. You can fit about six cards there, and you can still fit in some some stuff here if you need to. You definitely get your cost per wear. I've had this for about two years and it is in impeccable quality. I don't see myself changing this anytime soon, except that the gold, the hardware here is like, um, is tarnishing a little bit. But other than that, there will be no other reason to change it except for that vibe. Also in this category, one of the things that I thought of on a whim, I had some extra money when I was in London and I picked this up. This is the Louis Vuitton folio case. Only challenge with this is if you're changing your phone every year, this is very impractical. I've had my phone for a long time, my iPhone XS Max. You would think that the stickiness wanes on this. And now I've had this for two years and it is still sticky as ever. That's one of the things that I was, I was worried about when I first bought this. With the stickiness wane, where do I even get a sticker to begin with? <laughs> I would just use this as my work phone because I do plan on getting the iPhone 12. So I think I just wanted to add those two in there just to share that SLGs are also a great way to buy into a brand if that is just simply what you are thinking of doing as opposed to just a direct way to elevate the wardrobe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was super helpful. If you did like it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and leave um, your thoughts in the comments below on what you thought would also make as good key pieces to elevate your wardrobe. I didn't really touch on shoes because I think shoes are just super selective and very seasonal based. I don't know. Um, you can definitely get cost per wear with those. I'm not even going to lie. I think they are great investments, but I just feel like they just wear and tear so much quicker than your belt would, or your sunglasses would, or the clutch would, or the wallet would. Um, so I didn't include it in this video. Um, and obviously we didn't include bags because those really tend to be a lot more expensive. Um, but if you are open to me talking about what my idea of the best designer bags to start your collection with um, are, I could definitely do that for you. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share and subscribe and I will see you on Sunday.